Yeah, we've got breaking news on uh, pending home sales also down 5.2% in March. Uh, so again, these are a little bit of trailing March numbers here. Uh, so pending home sales month over month down 5.2%. That is a bigger drop than the 0.8% rise. Or I should say that's an unexpected drop, mm. uh, considering economists were looking for an 8 tenths percent rise year over year. Uh, that non-seasonally adjusted number dropping 23.3 percent. So yet again, more evidence here of choppiness in the housing market and speaks again to what we were talking about with Caterpillar when analysts are asking if uh, there is sustainable construction demand, although Caterpillar is a lot bigger than just residential, but nonetheless um, feeding into that. Yeah, the chief economist, Lawrence Yuen, saying that a lack of housing inventory is a major constraint to rising mm. sales right now, and then adding on that multiple offers are still occurring on about a third of all listings, 28% of homes still selling above list price. Mm. Uh, they're also noting in limited housing supply is simply not meeting demand nationally right now. Yeah, that's really interesting. And again, yeah. well, that implies that there is that demand that's out there, although you would have to think that they're seeing demand drop because of the, you know, what we've seen. Interest rates have come down a little bit, but they're still elevated. Yeah. Prices are elevated. So. An interesting employment situation note from the NAR as well, forecasting that the economy will continue to add jobs, albeit at a slower pace. Mortgage rates continue, they're expecting them to continue to drop with the 30-year fixed mortgage rate progressively falling to 6% this year and to 5.6% in 2024. And housing starts will fall from last year by 7.3% during this year in 2023, um, but they're expecting that to increase again next year by about 6.9% as well. So that, a little bit of what they're seeing on the economic lens from uh, the National Association of Realtors.